Today, we'll be going through the events of a 2011 American computer animated Western comedy film, Rango, directed by Gore Verbinski. The movie begins when a mariachi band comprising owls tells the viewers a story about a legendary hero. A chameleon with a dramatic flair begins narrating a vivid story in his terrarium. Various inanimate objects provide feedback on their performance. He talks to himself and envisions himself as a pirate, an adventurer, or a romantic lover, and gets into an epiphany about conflict and unexpected events. Suddenly, the car in which he is stowed hits a bump and his terrarium crashes. He steadies himself and sheds two coats of his skin due to the intense heat. He hears someone calling for him and finds that an armadillo has been squashed in the middle when the tire ran over him. He questions the armadillo and finds out that he was traveling to find the spirit of the West for enlightenment. The chameleon starts complaining about losing his social friends, but the armadillo doesn't believe him. He tries to fix the squashed abdomen, but isn't lucky. A speeding truck leads to a series of fanatic events that lead to near-death experiences for him. The armadillo shows up again, and he asks him for the path for water. The armadillo tells him to find a town named Dirt. He begins an arduous journey, passing through the desert. On the way, a camouflaged frog tells him to stop moving. He wonders why, but then hears the screech of a giant hawk. He panics and starts making a racket. The hawk swoops in, so he hides inside a bottle. The hawk grabs the bottle and drops it from the sky. The bottle falls on the frog, and after a fair amount of running, the hawk swoops the frog and flies away. He gets pushed out of a pipe by the water flow in the morning. He tries to drink some, but it all gets vaporized. He meets Beans, another lizard who states a conspiracy about water and thinks that he's involved. But his actions and words make it clear that he's a total stranger. She gives him a ride into town where he tries to blend in, he goes inside a West-style salon and orders a glass of water. He gets laughed at by everyone, and the bartender gives him cactus juice. He gets intimidated by a rodent asking his name. In the spur of the moment, he looks at the bottle of juice named Durango and calls himself Rango. He starts down the rodent and invents fiction about his past and a bewildering lifestyle. Hearing it, the townsfolk ask if he had killed the Jenkins brothers, and he says that he killed all seven with just one bullet. Meanwhile, Beans visits the bank to meet with Mr. Merrimack to ask for water. The anxious hamster shows her the town reserve, which looks almost empty. Beans gets shocked at the abysmal quality and tells him about the water dumps. He asks her to talk to the mayor, as he may be their only hope. The salon cheers as Rango completes a wild story, but an outlaw named Bad Bill enters with guns blazing. The townsfolk clear the way as Bad Bill approaches Rango. Bad Bill tries to look intimidating with his cigar and mean looks, but Rango, trying to be an alpha, swallows his cigar and burps a jet of fire at his face. Feeling insulted, Bad Bill passes him a gun and they face off on the road. Rango is jittery and keeps fumbling, but Bad Bill runs off when the shadow of a hawk passes overhead. Rango thinks Bad Bill scooted off because of him, but turns around to realize that the hawk has landed behind it. The hawk starts chasing him through the town, but it seems to the town folk that Rango was chasing the hawk due to the twists and turns. He hides in the vending machine, but the hawk uses a coin to vent him down. He escapes, using some candy, and runs towards a tower. The hawk clasps his candy in his beak, but Rango holds onto the tower and fires a bullet at the knot of the candy. After hitting some metal, the bullet breaks the tethers of the tower, leading the tower to crash down onto the hawk. The townsfolk declare him a hero and send him to meet the mayor. The mayor is an old tortoise who tells him about people's beliefs. He makes him the sheriff of dirt. Rango, feeling excited, becomes more pompous. The people start doing a ritual with their vessels and move towards the pipe. A local rooster tells him that now the hawk is gone, the rattlesnake Jake will come back. The mayor gives a speech and brings out the spigot. They turn the pipe, but no water emerges. Beans complains about the depleted reserve and lets it slip that the bank has no water left and the townsfolk are flabbergasted. Rango calms the enraged citizens and sneaks a few drinks from the reserve. He promises them that he will protect the water valve. At night, he spots some diggers and gives them a perspective for prospecting, oblivious to the fact that they were trying to rob the bank. The water reserve gets robbed the next day and the people get terrified. Rango forms a team and starts looking for the robbers. Beans goes along, and they hop down the hole the robbers dug. Underneath the town, they follow the pipe that leads them out. A giant eye follows them on a bridge. 
Rango exclaims that he has an idea, and they extinguish their torches. They climb up through an opening and find Mr. Merrimack's body. The doctor tells them that he died of drowning, which is very strange in the middle of the desert. The rooster identifies their scent using his mystic dragon fruit. Rango tells them all to ride, and they gallop ahead on their chickens gloriously. The night dwells, and the group sits around a bonfire. Spoons, an old rodent, asks Rango about the spirits of the West, and he explains the story. He also mentions that Rattlesnake Jake is his brother, and he is immune to his venom. They say some kind of approving words for Rango, and he feels guilty about making up stories when he lies down. Beans and Rango share about their dreams, and Rango gives her a little peck on the cheek. The eldest calls upon his entire family to confront them about the water jug. They spot the moles who robbed the jug and approach them dressed like theatrical thespians. After some epic chase sequences in the desert, the jug is eventually uncovered and revealed to be empty. Beans mentions the discarded water in the desert, and he goes to see the mayor. The mayor shows him the new town he had been building. Rango gets suspicious of him, so the mayor tells Bad Bill to call Jake. Beans mentions that the mayor wanted to buy her land, but it's useless without water. As Rango wonders about the control of water, the townsfolk show up demanding the hanging of the moles. They have lost their belief that there will be more water, so Rango inspires them to believe in him, their sheriff. Suddenly, Rattlesnake Jake shows up and intimidates Rango into confessing that he is a liar and a fraud. Rango walks away in shame and crosses the highway only to collapse on the other side. He is carried by some desert insects to the other side and he meets the spirit of the West, a human. The spirit inspires him to become a hero for the sake of his friends. The armadillo appears again and shows him the walking cacti who follow the water. He reaches the outskirts of Las Vegas and understands that the mayor wants to recreate that town by controlling the water lines. Rango meets with the Mole family again and allies with them. The mayor and Jake intimidate Beans into selling the land to the mayor. Jake is too hard on her and even rattles the mayor with his dominance. Rango calls out Jake and they face off. As soon as noon hits, the walking cacti open the valve and the Mole family diverts the water to Dirt Town. Jake is above the robber hole, so he gets hit by a water jet. He is launched into the sky and scared by the moles who imitate a flying hawk. Rango points his gun at Jake and doesn't flinch. Jake realizes Rango is dead serious, but then Bad Bill and the mayor threaten the safety of beans. He surrenders and they get locked inside the bank vault, which starts filling with water. The mayor points a gun at Jake and tells him that the time of outlaws is over. Beans mistakenly swallowed the bullet in Rango's mouth while kissing him. Rango uses the Heimlich maneuver to get the bullet out, shattering the glass. All of them are blasted out, and Jake tips his hat to Rango as a sign of respect. He grips the mayor and slithers away. The town rejoices and appreciates Rango's efforts. The town changes its name to Mud on account of all the water. Beans packs Rango's lunch, who is astride his chicken. He rides away into the sunset and inspires the town folk with a speech. His chicken drops him midway, and the movie ends on a humorous note. That was my recap of the movie. Hope you enjoyed it. Now comment on your favorite part, and make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. Until